All right, let's check out the comb section now. So the comb section is another multi-tap delay, but in this case we have the ability to use 1 to 64 taps, and the comb size determines the timing of those taps. So the comb size will be the delay time of the last tap, and the other taps will kind of populate that comb size depending on the pattern that you've selected. Uh, so with uniform, those taps will be evenly spaced within that delay buffer, and you can change that to be different patterns. Uh, slope determines the volume level of those taps. Uh, flat means they're all going to be at the same volume level. Uh, rising means they ascend in volume. Uh, rise fall has them ascend and descend, and falling means they're going to descend in volume. And then, of course, you can select your number of taps from 1 to 64. The default state of Rainmaker has the comb section at zero volume. We're going to turn that up to eight. Uh, we're going to deactivate the delay section and activate the comb section. And uh, right now, the clock source is set to comb clock. So I'm going to plug a clock input into the comb clock input here. Just a basic drum groove going. And so now, if I bring up the wet dry, you can hear that one tap, and so as we add taps, we get a bit more complexity. Uh, it's set to uh, quite a fast time right now, so we can increase the use the clock divider to to increase that, and then we can use the pattern to change the arrangement of those taps and change the volume levels of those taps. So as you add taps, you're getting more density in that uh, comb filtering, and if you add feedback, you can kind of make things more tonal. So with more taps, the pattern really affects the timbre of the result. effect going now. You can also set the comb to comb size. And so in this mode, the knob here determines the, the comb size, and the clock divider determines the range of that knob. So you can get really long delay times this way. So with faster comb sizes, let's reduce that clock divider. With faster comb sizes, you get more of a resonator effect. You can change the, the tone of that resonator effect with uh, the different patterns and the different slopes. But there's also a filter inserted into the feedback path. Uh, so if you press this button twice, it takes you to the comb feedback filter. And so these are filters made to mimic resonant bodies. So right now it defaults to guitar. And raw is no filtering. So with your clock source set to comb size, you can use the one volt per octave input to create melodies with your comb feedback. And that can be done without an input. 
see if you turn up your feedback. And you can use the uh, comb size to kind of tune things. And the feedback filter will change the timbre as well. The size of the comb can also be modulated using an internal LFO. Wave selects the shape of modulation, level the amount, and rate controls the speed of the LFO. Sounds really good with uh, a synth source, so let's plug in the Atlantis here. And then of course you can bring the delay section in. So we have the comb section feeding the delay now. Let's turn on the delay section and put that all the way wet. It's important to know that you can change the wet-dry balance of the delay section independently of the global wet-dry control. So we can just add in a little bit of delay from the delay section on top of, uh, of the comb section. Yeah, so that is the comb section. So I hope you found this helpful, and thanks for watching.